Ah, come on in. Don't be shy. I'll show you all about the contact line. Come on then, in you come. Plenty of room. Ah, oh, right. The contact line. Here it is, the Wetman Equipment contact line. Quite simply, webbing, two connectors and a means in the middle to disconnect the webbing with a quick release, which is also an adjustable system with the yellow webbing to make it obviously longer or shorter. Okay, go on then. So, the purpose is, as a contact line, to connect one boat, the rescue boat, to a casualty boat using deck lines. Casualty boat is connected by the bow and then you can paddle out of immediate danger given that the casualty might be pushed against rocks or getting swept by a current. So it's a quick, fast method of contacting and getting your casualty out of immediate danger. Okay, connectors here are snag free connectors as you can see there, connected to the webbing, generating a low profile connection there, no snags, no knots, finished off with the black rubber o-ring there which positions the webbing on that point, stops it from moving around and migrating onto the gate causing any snags so it's nice and solid. Okay, we have colour coding, we have a red webbing and a yellow webbing. Okay, and the yellow webbing is always the adjustable webbing. It's also there with a tail, so you have two means of releasing the system. Okay, so you can do it by quick releasing on the yellow tag, lifting up that cam buckle and then the yellow webbing will slide through. Okay, or indeed you can grab the yellow webbing tail itself and that will lift the buckle up also. So this is now dressed so that it sits onto your deck and doesn't wave around in the wind and irritate you or get it over your map or indeed confuse you if you're trying to find the spray deck quick release loop. Starboard yellow band, quick release buckle positioned in the middle coming to the o-ring which is just holding all the loose tails to the port band. Okay so this is dressed like so. To deploy it all you do is you grab one of the ends of the line and give it a yank and then the red will extend so this is your predetermined length here okay and then you simply activate it so if this was my deck line here then I grab the bow connect the bow and then this will then be diagonally across the front of my deck so the bow then stays close in next to my boat okay and importantly the quick release system here is in the middle of my spray deck in front of my view easy to access should I want to abort and get off the system then I can grab the toggle or grab the yellow tail here Okay, and that will then release the cam buckle and then the tension from the casualty boat will then release me from the system and then I can get away from it. Okay. As I said, this is adjustable in length, so before you set off for the day, I suggest that you pre-adjust it to the correct length according to the boat you are using and the positions of your deck lines. So you adjust it to the correct length, close the cam buckle and then just test that that is going to create the right position for the casualty bow, uh, comfortable for your use. Okay, now that's ready to store on your deck or in your pocket. To make this nice and clean, we get rid of this flappy bit here, there are some rubber rings for you to stow this. So I'll just show you how to do that. What you do is you concertina the yellow webbing over the top of the red webbing in between the badge and the buckle itself. 
So you fold it down, and fold it back again, and fold and fold, and then use the red webbing as a kind of sandwich, like so. So I've basically generated a cheese sandwich. So the red is the bread, and the yellow is the cheese. Okay, can you see that there? And then ideally you want to then just pull out a little bit of the webbing so you know where the tail is as your emergency pull if need be. Once you've got that nice and neat, and you get the rubber O-rings and just pull them over the top of that sandwich. Because there's nothing worse than a sandwich that's fallen apart and your cheese is all over the place at lunchtime. Okay. So now that is going to just keep it nice and stowed and neat, okay, to stop it from flapping around and getting in the way. Again, to deploy it, you can just pull it slightly and it will unravel, okay, and now it's ready to be used. So that's basically it. There is a second thing you can do with this. You can use this um, to connect two boats for a raft. So you can do external deck line to the external deck line of the other boat with the two connect connectors. And then obviously you can adjust the yellow to the appropriate length, get them linked up and then pull this nice and tight, close it down. You have a nice stable platform so you can relax, you can sort out your casualty or indeed just take some photos and have some lunch. Okay, so that's basically how to use the weapon equipment contact tow line. Um, it's provided with quite a generous length of yellow tail. Um, obviously, if you wish to, you can cut it down to your own appropriate size depending on your application and how you like to use it. Always make sure that it's backed up by the steel D ring behind because um, that's how it generates sufficient strength and friction to maintain the tension under load. Okay. Um, equally what it does, it transfers some of the force away from the plastic and through the webbing. All right, so that is essential to make sure it is like so. Okay, and this is basically the same principle as a whitewater chest buckle harness system. So you just release that there and then it will slide through and release. These are available in various connectors. This is the uh, Kong Argon snag free connector. Okay, there is also a few others you can go for. This smaller one here, which again is snag free. That's called the Mini D. Okay, and these are red and yellow, color coded. Amazing. Or if you should you wish to have stainless, I've got stainless as well. As you can see, there's a nice stainless one. Okay, again, snag free. So the choice is yours. I hope this has been useful for you, and um, indeed if you wish to acquire a Wetman Equipment original, made in England in my workshop in Devon, believe it or not, yes, am I mad? Probably, most probably. Okay, then just get in touch with us through a website, and I'm sure I'll find you one for you to use. Safe paddling, and I'll see you on the water, most definitely. See you later. Uh, take one of these if you want on your way out, just make sure you... You uh, turn the lights out and lock the door, alright?